me take you back to a time when Love was as precious as diamonds Where if you search you would find it Okay then, I'm leaving. See you in the evening. He said looking at you but instantly felt a little nervous when you just gave a nod but the slight smile on your face was telling him there was something else. Uh, um, do you want me to bring anything when I get back? He shook your head but the awkwardness didn't go away. Then I'll leave, take care. He grabbed his keys and was about to leave but you stopped him and walked near him before pecking on his lips, making him gulp. It's been a year, I still have to get the kiss by myself. He was looking everywhere except you and you find it so cute that he's still so shy but said that he's anti-romantic. See you in the evening, saying that he left while you chuckled slightly and shook your head. Don't know how long this man going to get confident in showing love openly. You went inside the kitchen to finish the rest of the coffee and making some plans with your mother-in-law as she told you to organize this month's kitty party and she doesn't want to leave, a single chance to show them how talented her daughter-in-law is. You and Jungkook knew each other from childhood but were neither friends nor more than that. Eventually when you grow up you got married very unexpectedly but both of you are happy. The only problem is your man is a little anti-romantic or is just what he shows because you know he's just too shy to show his love. As Jungkook sat on his chair a smile appeared on his face when he remembered how you kissed his lips. He got shy imagining that. And that was the moment he realized his secretary came there and saw him. Chunko quickly straightened his face. When did you come? Mark tried to suppress his smile and act professional. Just now, sir, Mr. Kim and his team are coming for the inspection. We need to get ready. Jungkook nodded although his cheeks turned slightly red because he knew Mark must have seen him smiling. Let's go. He bowed and walked away while Jungkook followed him. Mom, I was thinking we could do a garden glamour theme for the kitty party. We could have flowers everywhere, elegant tea setting, maybe even some live music. He said looking at her while she stirred her tea with a soft smile on her face. She called you to have a cup of tea with her and you like it. That your bond with her is stronger than your own mother. Oh, I love that. I know you would make this party special. My friends would be so impressed. You smile feeling a bit more relaxed. I just want everything to be perfect. Maybe we can give the guests personalized teacups as a little keepsake. Mrs. John leaned forward and her smile grew wider. That's why I always tell everyone how amazing you are. You're so smart and creative, honestly. You're more than a daughter-in-law. You're like the daughter I always wanted. You blushed a little touched by her words. Thanks, mom. That means a lot. She gave you a mischievous look. Speaking of which, how are things going on with Jungkook? Is he treating you well? You felt your face heat up. Uh, yeah, we are doing fine. You said trying not to sound too awkward. Mrs. John raised an eyebrow, clearly enjoying your reaction. Just fine? Come on, dear. I've seen the way he looks at you. That boy's head over his. Has he been extra sweet lately? You laughed nervously, feeling shy. Well, he can be stubborn but yeah, he's sweet, she chuckled. Of course he is. He'd do anything for you, I can tell. You have got him wrapped around your finger. He couldn't help but to laugh a little, maybe a little. Mrs. John leaned back while her eyes sparkled. You know what I have been thinking? It's about time I get a grandchild.
Yet eyes widened in shock and cheeks turned red. She is expecting a grandchild and a son can't even kiss you without getting shy. Mom, you said getting a little embarrassed. What? You have been married for a while now. Don't you think it's time? I can already picture a little one running around with Jungkook's big eyes. Wouldn't that be adorable? She said laughing a little. He blushed deeply feeling shy. We haven't really talked about that yet. She waved her hand brushing it off. Oh don't worry. It will happen when it's meant to be. But just imagine my friends would be so jealous and you you would be the best mom. She laughed nervously trying to hide her embarrassment. We'll see. Mrs. John leaned in with a knowing smile. Trust me dear, Jungkook would melt at the thought of having a baby with you. He might act tough, but he's soft when it comes to you. You covered your face laughing shyly. Mom, you're embarrassing me. She chuckled and patted your hand. Just teasing, dear, but really you two are perfect together. Now let's get back to planning and don't worry, I'll handle any baby talk with my friends for now. Jungkook came back home only to see you dozing off on the couch. He smiled at your side, finding you cute. Sometimes he just wants to throw everything away and take you in his arms and hug you until you get annoyed, but then his shy nature makes him look like he's anti-romantic, especially when you tease him. You look tired. You looked at him. You're already back? He nodded, setting his bag on the table. Yep, but looks like you had a long day. You nodded lazily. A bit. I was with mom all day. Jungkook raised an eyebrow while si sitting beside you. With mom? Why? You chuckle leaning back on the couch. Oh, she's making me host her kitty party. Apparently, I'm the star of the show this time. Jungkook's eyes widened a bit. You, hosting? Yep, she wants me to show off her small talented daughter-in-law. Why? Am I not good for that? Of course you are. So you're going to have fun, huh? You smiled and nodded. I'll try my best. He just smiled but then an idea popped into your head. You leaned closer, smirking. Oh, and you know what else she was saying? Jungkook's brow furrowed as he turned to you curious. What? She was talking about wanting a grandchild. You grinned watching his reaction while his eyes widened and his face immediately turned pink. You already knew his reaction and you love it. W what? He sat up straight as suddenly looking awkward. You love seeing him so flustered. Yeah, she's already imagining a little one running around with her big doe eyes. Jungkook rubbed the back of his neck, looking down as if trying to hide his blush. Uh, she said that? You nodded, teasing him further. Oh yeah, and she seemed pretty serious about it. He looked like he was about to explode, glancing at you, then away again, clearly flustered. I, I mean, you poked his arm while leaning in closer. Come on, Coop. Don't you think it would be cute, a little one calling you dad? Jungkook's face was now completely red. He cleared his throat, trying to act cool but failing miserably. I, I don't know what to say. You giggled, enjoying how shy he, he was getting. You're so cute when you act all awkward like this. He groaned softly, covering his face with one hand. Why do you always tease me about this stuff? You grinned, poking his side again. Because you're so easy to tease. You get all shy. It's adorable. He peeked at you from between his fingers, his ears still burning red. I'm not that shy. 
You leaned your head on his shoulder, still smiling. Sure, sure, but seriously, you don't have any thoughts about little Johns running around? Jungkook shifted uncomfortably, clearly embarrassed but not denying it. I mean, it's not that I don't. I just... You laughed softly, hugging his arm. You're too shy to even talk about it. He glared at you. You're impossible, you know that? Maybe, but you love me anyway. He smiled shyly, looking away. Yeah, I do. He got up because he knew you won't stop and he was getting all red. I'm hungry. I'm going to make something to eat. Do you want? You smile, crossing your arms. I brought you some food already and also I'm tired so I'm going to sleep. Good night my anti-romantic cutie. Enjoy your alone time. I won't disturb you. He didn't say anything and you knew he was smiling. You went to your room while Jungkook turned back once you left and his smile widened. You always know how to make him feel shy even though he tries to act cool. He isn't really anti-romantic, it's just that your teasing made him so nervous he didn't know how to react. He leaned against the counter and rubbed his neck and thought about you. He loves you more than he lets on, but his shyness often makes him mess up when he tries to show it. Still, he adores your playful teasing and the way you make him feel special. She thinks I'm anti-romantic. He said with a small laugh, you didn't know how much he wanted to hold you and be close to you but every time he tried, he'd get flustered and end up being teased. He went to the fridge to get the food you brought, still smiling. His heart was full and even if he was embarrassed, he wouldn't change a thing. You made his life fun and real. After finishing his meal, Junko quietly made his way into the bedroom. He stopped and his eyes softened as he looked at you peacefully asleep. A smile appeared on his face and he came near you before sitting beside you and admiring your face as much as he want. How can you be so beautiful and mischievous at the same time, huh? Do you really like teasing me that much? He was talking to your sleeping figure while his eyes filled with love and admiration for you. His heart swelled thinking about how excited you were earlier talking about kids. The idea of little John's running made him feel something warm and deep inside. A family video. He couldn't wait. He leaned down, his eyes full of affection and gently pressed a kiss to your lips. You didn't stir. Feeling a little more confident, he kissed your cheeks, your forehead, even your eyelids. Each kiss tender and loving. It was one of the few times he could show you this much affection without you teasing him. You know, I thought about what you said earlier, about kids. His voice was soft, almost like he was afraid you would wake up and hear him. Jungkook chuckled to himself, brushing your hair back gently. Little Johns, running around the house. You with them, making the place feel so warm and alive. I mean, I get shy just thinking about it, but it's exciting too, you know? I would love to see a mini version of you with your smile and maybe your teasing habit. He kissed your eyelids and whispered, you would be such a great mom and I, I try to be a good dad. I know I'm not good with words and I get shy but I would love them, love you more than I can ever say. Maybe one day we'll make that happen, little John's everywhere. He pressed another kiss to your lips and whispered, Our future will be amazing. I can feel it. He was about to kiss you more but then he noticed your, you biting your lips slightly and that's the moment he realized you weren't sleeping. His face turned red as he knew you have heard everything. Why did you stop? I'm not even looking at you. Jungkook's face turned red in embarrassment while you opened your eyes and looked at him and then you couldn't help but to let out a chuckle seeing your husband all red like a tomato.
Wow, my secret admirer. You think this is the first time I've caught you kissing me when I sleep, huh? He looked at you with wide eyes while you giggled. What do you mean? Oh, come on, Jungkook. You think I haven't noticed you sneaking in kisses while I'm asleep? This isn't the first time you go. Jungkook blinked, completely flustered. I, I wasn't sneaking. I just, I mean, you look peaceful and I... You just couldn't resist. You finished for him laughing softly. My shy anti-romantic husband, stealing kisses when I'm not awake to tease you. You're sneakier than I thought. He groaned, covering his face with his hands, clearly embarrassed. You're making it sound like I'm doing something wrong. He mumbled from behind his fingers. You scooted closer, tugging his hands away from his face, forcing him to look at you. Wrong? No, you both cute, really it is. And besides, it's not like I mind, I love it. You said, giving him a cheeky grin. Jungkook gulped, still nervous, but something about you teasing made him feel a little braver. He stared at you for a moment and then out of nowhere, his shy expression shifted into something more determined. You really want kids, huh? You blink surprised by his sudden boldness. Yeah, I think we'd be good parents, don't you? Jungkook's case softened and he took a deep breath. I do. I just, I guess I've been nervous, you know. But seeing how excited you were, I think I wanted to. A family with you. He said, taking your hand in his. Your heart skipped a beat. Jungkook, usually so shy and reserved, was now opening up in a way that shook you. You were about to tease him again, but before you could, he surprised you by leaning in and kissing you deeply, without any hesitation. His hands curved your face gently, but the kiss was full of emotion, unlike the shy pecs he had given you before. You melted into him completely, caught off guard by this sudden surge of passion from your usually reserved husband. When he pulled back, his eyes were soft, but there was a spark in them that made your breath hitch. You always think I'm shy, but I can be romantic when I want to be. He said, caressing your cheek with his thumb. You blinked completely speechless for a second. Who are you and what have you done with my anti-romantic husband? He laughed hearing that. He's still here, just maybe getting a bit braver for you. You grinned, pulling him back in for another kiss. I like this side of you, John Jungkook. His arms wrapped around you, pulling you closer as he whispered, Good, because you're not getting rid of me anytime soon. For once the tables were done, you were the one blushing now.